Hey everyone, it's Tara Lynn. Today I have another collective reading for you. And as you can see, I already started to pull cards with this message and that's because this message was not one that I was going to post on social media. I was just gonna pull some cards by myself, see what message Spirit had. And as I was pulling these cards, I felt like there was a message that wasn't just meant for me to hear, but for other people to hear. And so if this video found you, it's definitely meant for you. I'm gonna continue to explain what I already am sensing from the cards and then I'll pull more with you so that we can see what this full message from Spirit is. The first card was Ace of Humans followed by the Page of Humans reversed and that was clarified by the Emperor reversed. So what this indicates to me is there's a new opportunity in your life. There's a new connection in your life. But with this new opportunity, this new person, there's a lack of vision on your end. There's a lack of forethought. There's a lack of follow through with it because this is just something that's coming into your life. You don't have any big major plans for it. You don't know where it's meant to lead to. And so there's a lack of control on your end because this isn't something that you thought you would have to control. But because of that, you're opening up room for someone else to control you, for other people to mislead you because you don't know what you want because you don't have a vision there's other people that is going to show you what the vision should be. And the way that you can avoid this, the action you need to take in your own life is temperance and the four of demons. You have to find balance and solace in who you are and being authentic to yourself. So even if you don't have a vision for this plan, for this connection, for this situation, you know in your heart what feels right for you, what's authentic for you. And it doesn't matter if other people don't like it, if they don't accept it, you're not gonna let them win over you. You're playing this power game with them where you're still in control of yourself. You know how they're gonna manipulate you. You know what they're gonna use against you. You know what they're gonna weaponize against you. And so right now it's important that even if you don't know what your vision for this is yet, that you know what your vision certainly is not. And you know what a red flag is for yourself. You have to stay highly aware of what is this devil energy that's coming to trap you. And that means being highly aware of your own weaknesses and how people could use that against you. You have to be aware of what the unexpected is so that you expect it. You have the queen of angels. The queen of angels is all about control and truth and honesty and awareness. And a specific message that's coming out with this card is facts and logic don't lie, but people do. A situation can be true. Logically, it can be true. And that doesn't mean that something hasn't gone on behind your back because of other people's actions that negates everything you know to be true. To me, it feels like there's this new situation, opportunity, person coming into your life. And it's okay to not know what you want, but don't be naive either. And don't trust that whoever is giving you advice or whoever's in your ear has your back. It's like you gotta be aware of the exact situation for yourself. Don't trust other people right now to watch over anything super important. And what I mean by that is like, don't, if someone's doing your taxes for you, double check their work. If you have an accountant, be cautious that they're not trying to steal money from you. If you're trusting someone to do something for you, first ask yourself if it's something you can do yourself. I just feel like you need to kind of be guarded at this point. You got a lot of cards here. You have the King of Vessels, the Magician Reversed, the, let me see what this is, the Nine of Vessels, or no, Six of Vessels, the Five of Vessels, and they're both reversed, and the Nine of Humans reversed. So there's a lot of reversals here. Let me just check this card, make sure I'm reading the right one for you. The Four of Vessels, there, got it. <laughs> okay, so with all these reversals, let me try and move it so you can see it a little bit better. Give me one second. So you need to be this king of vessels. You need to be aware. You need to be balanced. You need to be in control of your own emotions. And the reason for that, again, there's a snake-like energy with the magician being reversed. There's someone who is a very good manipulator. There's someone who's good at working behind the scenes where they're unnoticed. They're not going to be this walking red flag that's obvious. This is someone who's very subtle and weaponizes things against you. And so when you're the king of vessels, it almost feels like there could be a level of gaslighting at play here. And it might even be internal where you're talking yourself out of things. You're convincing yourself that something's not true. 
And it's like, no, you need to keep track of stuff. You need to see that it is true, that your feeling is not coming from a place of nowhere. It's your intuition trying to scream out at you that this person is not trustworthy. You have the two vessel cards here and what these cards represent, the four of vessels is there's something trying to get a message to you. There's something like that's trying to get your attention behind the scenes. And it's like, you're not looking for it. And so you're not aware of it, but there's something that's trying to tap you on your shoulder and you keep brushing off thinking it's the wind. The five of vessels represents focusing on the spilt milk in front of you instead of focusing on what's still standing behind you. Don't let the sunk fallacy cost keep you holding on to anyone or anything that's not actually meant for you. And especially this new opportunity, this person might not be coming in with this new opportunity. They could be in your life trying to prevent you from going for this new opportunity. They don't want you to leave them. They don't want to lose what they have. They don't want you to go out and find your own happiness, your own independence without them. But like, don't focus on what's bad in front of you when you could focus on the amazing potential behind you because the nine of humans is reversed. To me, it almost feels like this person has sabotaged things for you. They have denied you from going for what you want. And I also feel some of you, this might not be a person, this could be yourself. You're self-sabotaging. You know, there's no opportunity, this new person, this new situation in front of you and you could seize it. But instead, you're focusing on trying to fix what's broken. You're trying to focus on what you've already tried over and over and over again. You're focused on repeating cycles, repeating habits, instead of going out on a new one. Instead of forcing yourself to jump into that pool in the deep end, you're trying to continue to go in the three feet and walk up and down the stairs without ever committing to swim. It feels like there's definitely a block going on here. And so it doesn't matter like if this is an external person or yourself. Awareness is key. Awareness is your action. Awareness with this temperance and this four of demons is how you're going to realize what you actually want. Some of you need to talk to like a bestie about this and have them hold you accountable and say, hey, this is what I plan to do or this is the issues that I'm going through and if this happens again, I need you to keep tally of it and let me know what's going on. So I have someone else who's witnessing this and helping me through it. Like there's no shame in asking for help. There's no shame in having someone hold you accountable. Sure, you might not love them for that because your ego doesn't want to be held accountable, but it's going to help you out in the long run. Don't stay stuck in a situation just because you don't want to ask for help, just because you don't want to talk to someone about it. Yep, the chariot reverse. There's a part of you that doesn't wanna leave this chaos that you have. There's a part of you that doesn't wanna step into this new opportunity. And that's where your lack of vision is from, is because why are you gonna think about this future that you could have when you don't wanna make any attempts to get it? This is a self-limiting belief. This is like spirit's way of showing you, hey, this is open to you. You can get it. You can step through this new path, this new door, this new entryway for the life that you deserve. But instead, you're refusing to do so. You're refusing to do so because you're afraid. king of humans. So you started as the ace of humans. You have the potential to be the king of humans, but in order to do this, you cannot be afraid to put yourself out there. You cannot be afraid to socialize. You cannot be afraid to work with others. You cannot be afraid to be vulnerable. You cannot be afraid of connections because no one succeeds anything in life by going on it by themselves completely. Every successful person has always relied on the help of others or the influence of others in some way whether it's a mentor, whether they read a book and were inspired by someone else, whether they had people help them along the way, whether they just had a friend or a loved one that they told their dreams to. You cannot do it alone because when you do it alone, you overthink, you get stuck in your head and you're not aware of your own internal flaws. This is spirit's way of showing you what you have access to, but what you're refusing to get. You have the six of humans. It's okay to hold on to memories. It's okay to hold on to the past, but you can't go back in time. You can't relive it. You can't hold on to it forever. You can't become stagnant in this version of your life that you want when you have the potential to go out and make a new, better life for yourself. Memories are great, but if you hold on to these memories that you have right now in 50 plus years, 
you're never gonna have anything better. You will have peaked. And that's what spirit doesn't want you to do. Spirit doesn't want you to peak. Spirit wants you to constantly evolve. Spirit wants you to constantly live your best life, constantly become a better version of yourself. The queen of humans reversed. You're not taking proper care of yourself right now. You're neglecting your body. You're neglecting being kind to yourself. You're neglecting taking care of yourself. Take a day for just self-care, whether that's eating healthier food, whether that's doing a spa day, whether that's just reading your favorite book or watching your favorite show, or just taking some time in the morning to listen to your music that you want to. Do something to honor yourself. Do something to take care of yourself because it feels like so much of you is holding on to the weight of everything else or everyone else that you're not focused on yourself. You're not focused on what you need. And that's why you don't have a vision for this new opportunity because you're neglecting yourself. Some of you don't feel like you're worthy of deserving good things in this lifetime, but you are. The only way that you're going to begin to see your worthiness is by taking better care of yourself and starting the journey to love yourself. You have the hanged man reversed. It's time to free yourself from this trap that you're in. It's time to allow yourself to see that you walked into a situation, you stayed there longer than you intended, you got trapped there, you thought you were gonna be able to control it, you thought you could handle it, but you weren't able to, and there's no shame in that. But now, with the back of the deck being the two of humans, it's time to ask for help. It's time to break yourself out of the cycle. At this point, Spirit's kind of repeating itself, so I'll just reiterate it one last time for you. New opportunities, new people, new connections are coming into your life, and they're going to transform your life into a better one than you're currently at. But you're holding yourself back because you want to hold on to the past. You want to hold on to what you have. You want to hold on to who you are now instead of growing, instead of becoming better. And whether this is from a lack of confidence or a lack of self-love, you need to start to heal your inner wounds. You need to start to be aware of your weaknesses in order to heal it so that you can move forward, that you can move on from this current situation that you're in because you deserve better. You're going to get better, but you have to be the one to push yourself to get it. If you allow this devil, whether it's yourself, whether it's another party, to hold you back or to limit you or to control you without ever becoming aware of it, you will stay stuck in the cycle because it feels like right now you are trapped and you might not be aware of it, but you're refusing to do anything about it now that you have the tools at your disposal to do so. And so Spirit wanted to bring this to your awareness so that your next action, the next move that you make is up to you. You get to decide if you stay trapped or not. But this way, you're aware of it, and what you do is up to you. And so I'm sending you so much love at this time. We all get stuck in our heads, so it's not any fault of you. This is something that all humans experience at one point or another. And so just be kind to yourself. Just extend grace to yourself. Like I said, I'm sending you so much love as you're going through this, and I hope that you just do what's best for you. I hope that this video helped you out in some way. Let me know in the YouTube comments down below if it resonated. Also, give this video a big thumbs up and share with others who need to hear it. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you a part of this family. I post new videos every single day to help you develop your own intuition so that you can make the decisions that is best for you. And I do sell readings, so if you want to purchase one, you can message me on my other social media platforms. I can't wait to see you all in my next video, and I hope you all have a good one until then. Bye.